Well, this sort of piggybacks on um, talking about the whole business thing. Like, how many channels do you have right now that you're a part of? I mean, at Complexly. Yeah. I don't know. Like maybe ten. I guess. I guess. I guess you kind of manage some channels that. that you don't. You don't actually. You're not. In oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Complexly uh, produces channels that I have no part in for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, that you know, Eons I used to host, mm -hmm. but don't anymore. Um, and and. All, all I do at Eons is I say, good job. <laughs> that's, that's it. They, they've, they've got it down. Um, oh, that's a great channel. We've got a channel called Healthcare Triage, which mm -hmm. is a sort of small, but well, I think under, I think that it has a, a, a bigger impact uh, than it would, its viewership would indicate, because I think it's watched by a lot of healthcare professionals. It's sort of a wonky health, uh, like w what are the, you know, both sort of you know politics of it but also like like healthcare stuff uh, mm -hmm. but also um new interesting developments and treatments and stuff so so the more professional level people are hearing that and it's kind of affecting them yeah yeah, yeah that's cool yeah it's this guy it's this guy that my brother met his name is aaron carroll and he's just like uh -huh. a very influential doctor guy he's got like a new york times column and you know he does this with us Cool. He's, he's got I a great a personality. Yeah, he does. Uh, and, and I like yeah. how it is kind of like a lot of times I'll watch it and it's like, oh, I really didn't think it was going to be what he just said. You know, yeah, like I I, totally. I thought that it would be it's, this one thing. And it's changed my perspective on a number of things where I'm like, you know, maybe my perspective was more influenced by my ideology than mm -hmm. by reality. Yeah. Which is you need, always you need the that, case uh, that cold water every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Microcosmos might be one of my favorites. Oh yeah, nice. It, it's it's an ASMR channel. Let's just be honest. It's not. <laughs> it's you know when what we said when we were starting it, we were like, we want to make something that you can like you could really learn something while high. Okay. Yeah. Or just yeah. like I just want to like chill. It's a very and, calming. You, yeah. You got, you got the soft voice. I do down. the. This is the microphone. You're like right on, on the yeah, microphone. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're you're the you're the bob ross of bacteria it's, yeah it's very I bob rossy love it so much i've learned and i've learned so much because i didn't know anything about that world when i started i mm. i i watched this video that was just a clip of a some silly it disintegrating i don't know what happened to it mm. but its membrane just sort of rips apart unzippers and its cytoplasm just becomes the environment instead right. of being an organism so it's just witnessing a cell die and I reached out to the guy who had posted it. And I was like, hey, can I license that? And he was like, I've already licensed it to like Jukin or something. Um, so I couldn't. But I, uh, I mean, I could have licensed it from Jukin, but I didn't on principle. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I have before licensed from Jukin. I guess I've, my principles only stretch so far. Mm. But the, um, <laughs> the, um, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I think actually they probably provide a service and they certainly get paid for that service, but it's nice that people can make some money off of their stuff. Um, but uh, the, uh, I, I, but he was like, I don't know, maybe something else. And I was like, I, you know, I, I've, I had thought a bunch about doing a, a channel that was sort of like micro stuff, mm -hmm. but I don't have the, I don't even have the, at that time, I didn't have the knowledge to even know what microscope to buy. There are a lot of microscopes and a lot that they do a lot of different things. Um, and so I just sort of like took a gamble on this guy who lives in Poland and uh, is Turkish and um, I've never met and I hope to meet him someday. I very much hope that he can get to North America one way or another because um, mm -hmm. it's not it's not easy to be an immigrant in Poland right now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's there's a lot, you know, it's it's I'm happy that Poland has been a place for a lot of people to go, but it uh, has made it more complicated for him. Um, and the uh, the, <laughs> the 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 his ability to continue leveling up um, both what it like the equipment and his skill and i mean he is the most i dedicated to the thing that he does of anyone i know he has cats 
and he <laughs> has a microscope and like he's you know he's also he has <laughs> has has a life he's got uh you know he's does does things but like in he does not watch tv he watches microbes you know that's what he does in all of his free time and his, his it's friends. also become his work time and he, i mean he has got so he's got like he's surrounded by jars and he takes care of all of these jars like they're aquariums but there is nothing in them that well there's you know there's nothing in them that's visibly big yeah. Yeah. like you could the biggest things you could see are stenters which are macroscopic single-celled organisms um uh-huh. and so so not... he he's he he does the video and sends it to you and and then you guys yeah. write around that like does he tell you what it is and, and yeah then yeah so we have research it? we have pitch meetings where um he'll talk about some of the things that he's seen oh, okay. recently and we will try and figure out how to turn that into a video or we come to him with ideas and we're like how could you like what like if we wanted to talk about this uh, feature of microbes what microbes would you feature and do you have any footage of them so it's sort of collaborative in that way and yeah. and we've you know we've also talked about using other people's footage there's a there's a lot of stuff that um you know it's a big world weirdly though this is one of the things i learned through doing this channel it's a big world but uh microbes tend to be universal so like the the species of tardigrades in mm. Europe at the at the like the place at the, in the ecosystems in the habitats that they would thrive in Europe exact same species in North America mm. exact same species in Asia and i was like this isn't how it works <laughs> yeah i never thought um, about that but it is how it works with for example brown bears so grizzly bears um are circumpolar and so they are can all interbreed because they're because they are con- like geographically contiguous. The thing uh-huh. that makes a new species, there's a bunch of things, but one of the, the you know, when, when you have one species uh, that turns into two, just sort of like diverging from each other, even though they're in the same habitats and they have the kind of same needs is a geographical barrier. Tardigrades don't have geographical barriers because they blow around. Uh-huh. They get caught up in storms. They turn into like little spores basically Uh that are so light that they could just get blown off of moss sucked into the air and then they land all over the world yeah Uh and like i never understand and this is the case with a pretty much every single celled organism they get sucked up into storms and they land elsewhere because they're small enough and so they're like they are you know there are some that are kind of too big for that and some that are like like super evolved for a very specific environment where Mm -hmm. they aren't that way but a lot of stuff it's just hmm. universal That's funny. species that are that. everywhere. Yeah. Um, I, I did a video recently where I was talking about places that you can't go. And one of them was this brand new island off the coast of Iceland. That's, uh, I mean, maybe like 50 years old or something, yeah. you know, it's yeah. kind of like peaked up. And and so like, they're like, nobody touch it. We want to see <laughs> yeah. what happens, you know? And so, so they're like, just basically <laughs> waiting for like, there's already plant life growing on there. And yeah, uh, of course, birds have landed on it and stuff, yeah. but you know. Nobody oh, touch it. Yeah, we just Be put alone. a drone over it and watch. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll see what humans just pop up there, and you know, yeah. two million years. <laughs> <laughs>